If you're new to schematics, you may be thrown off by the way some ICs are represented. For example, this TLO74 op-amp chip might be drawn like this. Being a quad op-amp chip, the IC package houses four operational amplifiers with identical functionality. Each one has its own inputs and outputs separate from the others. So, each op-amp is drawn as a discrete unit, which can do its own thing. That makes sense, but now you may be wondering, where are this chip's power connections? Sometimes in order to keep things visually simple and focused, the author may omit the power pins of common ICs and assume the viewer knows those necessary connections will still need to be made. They're probably around here somewhere. Oh, here they are. 